What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, I'm your host Hollywood Hogan and my boys we have breaking MCU news, James Gunn has been rehired by Disney to film and write, we already wrote it, but to film Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. This comes from Deadline, my boys. It is absolutely official. James Gunn has returned. He is getting his second chance from Mickey Mouse, and he's going to finish the trilogy of Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, this is absolutely huge news because a lot of people didn't think this was ever going to happen. Obviously, Disney had that knee-jerk and absolutely correct reaction to just panic. I mean, anybody in that situation would have done the same. Any company in that situation with the whole James Gunn thing was happening would have done the same exact thing because they just don't want to get any public backlash. They had a knee-jerk reaction. They fired James Gunn for some terrible tweets he made a couple years ago. He apologized for it. He has proven that he has changed, that he has matured as an adult, as a human being. And it looks like Disney has noticed that. And they're officially bringing him back to direct Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Now, I'm really interested to see the reaction from the nerd community, from the comic book community, just to see what the reaction is. Because one of the things I found really surprising is when, when this news broke a month, months ago, months ago that he was getting fired, I was shocked by how much people were coming in his defense. Because usually everybody comes like a pact and they get their freaking um, tiki torches and they all go for the kill and they all band together to say this person's a terrible person and we should blacklist him from Hollywood. Well, it was shocking to see so many people come into his defense to the point where he gets hired by Warner Brothers to direct, and who knows if he stays directing, Suicide Squad 2. He also has Brightburn coming out this year, later this year, or actually in May, so we're only a few months away. And what a comeback for James Gunn. What a return and redemption story for James Gunn. And it looked like his career was absolutely freaking over. And now, here he is with Brightburn coming out. Brightburn looks amazing. Let's see if he still directs um, Suicide Squad 2. I, I, I would hope he does. It does say by deadline that um, Disney's going to allow him to finish Suicide Squad before they jump into production for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. But I would not be surprised if later down the line we find out that um, he's stepping away from Suicide Squad so he could pursue and focus on Guardians of the Galaxy um, Volume 3. Because the fact is, he's going to be the first director in MCU history to direct a complete trilogy. Now, I don't know if you want to count the Russos with um, Captain America Civil War, Infinity War, and Endgame. If you do, then I'm, I'm wrong. But when we talk about just one staple, it's going to be James Gunn that has directed Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, 2, and 3. No other director has done that in the MCU. So that's absolutely huge. And, and look, this is this is going to be, there's going to be some backlash, obviously. There are people that weren't excited about Warner Brothers hiring them for Suicide Squad. and um, But it's going to be interesting. I think he will stay on, though, for Suicide Squad because he already recast Will Smith's character with Idris Elba meeting with Idris Elba for the role. So I would expect him to be all in in this. And what a comeback. What a freaking comeback for James Gunn. You have Brightburn, you have Suicide Squad 2, and you have Guardians in the Galaxy Volume 3. Each Guardian of the Galaxy movie has made $1 billion. You have to assume that this one, Volume 3, is going to make just as much money. Suicide Squad is was, even though as bad as the first Suicide Squad was by David Ayers, that movie made a shit ton of money. Maybe because of the soundtrack, maybe because of Hot Topic, but that movie made so much money and I would assume the second one directed by James Gunn with Margot Robbie with Idris Elba is going to make just as much money or maybe even more um look I, I love James Gunn as the director I do know he made some terrible terrible mistakes but I do believe in second chance so I'm happy for the dude for Disney to actually be able to give him a second chance because Disney is ruthless my boys they don't mess around you mess up once goodbye peace out see you later that's how ruthless Disney is this is, not, this is why they're the powerhouse of the entertainment world so I'm absolutely shocked that they actually went out of their way to bring back James Gunn for this movie even though there's a bunch of petitions billboards um, the cast went out of their way right when things were getting really bad they went out of their way to be very vocal on social media saying that they want James Gunn back Batista went out of his way to pretty much say that he would never work for them see you again if um, James Gunn wasn't reinstated or rehired. Um, there was also rumors that um, Batista was going to go join the DCEU and possibly become Bane of Suicide Squad. But uh, I mean, I don't think that's going to happen. I think now the whole cast will be back together. Because look, it, it, the facts are facts. Disney wasn't really looking for a replacement. The, the, the rumors were that Guardians of the Galaxy was going to be put in the back burner. And I had a feeling that they were really waiting 
for time to pass. Just waiting for time to pass, waiting for things to blow over, waiting for James Gunn to make his comeback. You know, Bright Burn has been well received with reactions and the trailer has looked amazing. Um, Suicide Squad 2, people were going to be excited for that. So I did think eventually down the line, Disney was going to be more open to rehiring him. But it is shocking that Disney was so open to it actually. But I didn't think it was going to be so soon is my opinion. I didn't think it was going to be this quick that they were going to just jump to it and rehire him right away. But good for Disney for being open to it though because like I said they're ruthless they are ruthless and it's gonna be interesting man because remember before he got fired by Disney um the rumor was that James Gunn was gonna be like the lead head like he was gonna look over the entire MCU cosmic phase for the MCU because that was something that they were discussing about doing like a whole entire cosmic phase for Marvel and that you know, Kevin Feige had named James Gunn as the lead head of the cosmic phase for the MCU. So it's going to be interesting moving forward if James Gunn gets that role back, if he's still going to be one of them, the leading candidates to run and look over the MCU cosmic universe. I'm really intrigued by that process going forward because he was really set in to do a lot more with Marvel other than Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Like, he was set up to do future projects with the MCU. So it's going to be interesting to see if this is just going to be a one-off, if he's just going to come back to finish the Guardians of the Galaxy story, or if he's going to get the whole enchilada and be able to do the projects that he was possibly going to do, especially with Fox going to be bought by, I'm sorry, bought, but it's going to be completely owned by Disney pretty soon. I think by next week, the sale will be official, and he got Silver Surfer, he got Fantastic or you would love to see James Gunn to see if he could like get a couple of these characters and put them into these movies. I I'm very intrigued by this. Um, but if I'm Warner Brothers, I I I'm a little bit salty. I'm a little bit salty, my boys. I'm a little bit salty just because of the fact that like we hired James Gunn. We wanted him to look over Suicide Squad. He was going to be our guy in the DCEU. He's a name. We're going to give him a chance. And now it's like, well, what if he comes out and he says, ah, yeah, I don't have time for Suicide Squad because I have a baby called Guardians of the Galaxy and I kind of want to finish that story. If I'm if I'm Warner Brothers, I'm happy for Gunn, but I'm a little bit salty because now I'm kind of concerned like, what does this mean about Suicide Squad? We were already going into production. We already got Idris Elba to replace Will Smith. We have Margot signed off. We have Viola Davis signed up. Like, you're already talking about adding King Shark, Polka Dot Man, and Ratcatcher. These were literally characters that are rumored to be in Suicide Squad, which by the way, if they're in the movie, I'm okay with it. Because if James Gunn can make me tear up and cry over a freaking tree, you damn right I'm going to care about a giant shark that can kick people's asses. That is just fact. And um, look, I'm excited for it. Congratulations, James Gunn. Yeah, I mean, you did some terrible tweets. Terrible tweets. And you asked for forgiveness. You pleaded. You shown that you can change. And obviously, Disney has seen that. And this is a major corporation, man. Like, this is a major company. For them to go out of their way and say, we're going to give this man a second chance, shows that Disney did their research, Disney did their background check, Disney checked on him, saw it, let time pass, let the phase end, let this guy make a comeback, and they brought him back into the MCU family. What a week for the MCU. What a few couple of weeks for the MCU. You got Captain Marvel making a shit ton of money. You have, um, the, just yesterday, the surprise Avengers Endgame trailer, which, by the way, we did a reaction to. Make sure you go check that out. And then, now, today, James Gunn, back to direct Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I would love to know your guys' opinion about this. Sound off in the comment section. Are you excited about James Gunn returning and being rehired to direct Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3? Comment down below. Let me know your guys' opinion. I would love to know it. I think it's cool for him as a person who went through all that and pretty much looked like his career was going to be over to now this year having Brightburn, then he's going to direct Suicide Squad 2, and now Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. You know, Redemption Story, my boy. Redemption Story and Second Chances are very welcome in life. Anyway, boys, if you like this video, slap that thumb, subscribe and join the Hollywood Quick for Daily Uploads Monday through Sunday, seven days a week. Links are all down below in the description. If you want to read the column from Deadline, it is also in the description. I left a link down below so you guys can go read it yourself about the news of James Gunn officially being rehired by Disney to direct Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I will see you guys later on. You guys enjoy the start to your weekend, too. So... Wait. No! Oh, that's the button that will kill everyone! Try again! I am Groot. Mm hmm. I am Groot. Uh huh. I am Groot. No! Does anybody have any tape out there? I want to put some tape over the death button. Nobody has any tape! Not a single person has tape! You have an atomic bomb in your bag, and if anybody's gonna have tape, it's you! I have to do everything! You are wasting a lot of time! I am Groot! That's a really bad sign. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait.